Hey, how's it going? And uh, today I'm going to show you something really interesting and it's called a David Lapointe array loop system. And technically this would be able to generate power if you had a big enough loop, which is a closed loop system. And this would be able to run continuously. Now there's a few problems associated with this kind of thing because it would be called a over unity device and it would be breaking the laws of thermodynamics, which is very controversial. I'm not saying that this is impossible, but I did find some very, very interesting things when I started building these array systems designed by David Lapointe. The first being is that when you take this array off, these arrays have very interesting magnetic fields and they flip in the middle here. So you could shoot the magnet through this array and you can shoot them through each either direction but more specifically if you shoot them in a specific direction with the north pole the magnet will shoot through as many as arrays as, as you want as far as i can tell now i did put a coil on the end and i wanted to measure the voltage just to kind of confirm what i was seeing here and i tested one array and i got a few volts and then I tested a two and then three and then four and I did find that there was no change in the voltage it did not increase or decrease so that was very intriguing but I'm not saying this is an over unity device because there are a few factors involved when you try to build these loop systems the first being is that these rays have to be at a very specific distance so 62 millimeters in this case so if you go any more or any less, these, these arrays will not propel the magnet through and the magnet will just get stuck in here. So if you bend it like this, it will not shoot through. Another thing too is that when you put coils in here to generate the power, if you're pulling a load from these coils, I think that might affect the velocity of the magnet. I'm not sure about that, but I'm thinking that's going to be the downfall of this design. Another thing too is that obviously it's going to have centrifugal forces and then the magnets are encountering resistance when they slide through here. I did modify this array a little bit so I modified it so that it would fit the PEX piping and it would be able to shoot the magnets through this piping and then go through. So I did modify David Lapointe's design just a little bit but not too much and they are 3 8 N52 magnets, and then there are also uh, 3 8 uh, N52 magnets in the tubing. So they're the same magnets that are used in the arrays that are being shot through. If you want to build the full loop system, I did some rough estimates, and I calculated that um, to maintain the 62 millimeter spacing, you'd roughly need a 6 meter round loop, and you would roughly need around 60 arrays. So each array has about 40 magnets, so it would definitely cost you a couple thousand dollars to build this kind of system, and there's no guarantee that's going to work. But nevertheless, if you guys want me to build this complete contraption, I definitely will. And I think it's something very interesting to just see how it doesn't work, and if it works, well, obviously that would be a miracle. So. Once again, uh, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, see you in the next one.